Here we go with another unboxing. All right, we're over here. Nitro Cousin Anthony. Today is going to be called Nitro Gas Cousin Anthony. All right, he's over here looking for uh, a knife. We're going to unbox his first ever fifth scale. First ever fifth scale. All right, bro. Do your thing. Yeah. Get that side there. This one. What we got here? Hopefully, we can start breaking in this motor. That way, you got a car to run on Sunday. Now let's bring this sucker down. I still have to unbox my fit scale as well and my buddy Paul's. Let's see what we got here. All right, so <clears throat> my viewers already know what this might be. Oh no. We're unboxing, and guess what? Yo, you have like the worst luck, bro. Every time we're unboxing something in your house, the boss shows up. What's up, boss? Wanna say hi? <laughs> the boss is here. <laughs> Here's your phone. Oh, man. All right, let's do this. I'm doing it, too. Oh snap, I oh, see a car. It's so big. I see a truck. Yes. Easy, easy, easy. I don't think easy. easy. Yeah. That's humongous. Look at your mother, tell her there's a surprise in the box. Right? Go. <laughs> Look at your mother, tell her there's a surprise nice, in the box. Nice, bro. Not, no, no. no, not too bad the body, dude. Mom, there's a surprise. What? Yo, yeah, I'm liking it, bro. I got a wrap kit for mine, but. This is humongous. Yo, let's pull this sucker out, man. Damn. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. Oh no, not that. I'm talking about the car. <laughs> you're gonna. No, don't tell totally. me. You're gonna get spanked later, bro. All right. Take the thing. Okay. Whoa. There's a packet on the bottom. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Look at this guy. Pick this up. <laughs> it's a big freaking car. <laughs> All right, we got instructions. <laughs> All right, we got a manual here. What else? What else comes? This has been a long time waiting, bro. I picked these up already a while ago, right? How long ago has it been, man? Oh, it's been a couple months. A couple months, man. I have to go back in my videos and see. Everybody knows I picked these up, a bunch of these at uh, Roven. I went, I went there. We picked them up, and. Um, Supposedly, they've been working, turning out very well. This is the one with the 32cc motor. All right, you get everything to start out with. Again, on mine, it's pretty much, I'm gonna be building mine. Mine is pretty much gonna be all turtle racing at the end of the day. But, you know, for somebody starting out, this is a great platform to start out. You got a remote, you know, supposedly it's already bound to the car and uh, the fail safe is hooked up already but you're not going to be using this remote right you're going to use your other one probably yeah nitro cousin anthony has another remote that uh he got for his uh nitro afana with the paloma motor oh, so look got a little oil. mix in there the who's the oil uh, you can carry this as a little fuel you know i carry a gallon man um and then but, all right i guess you can do a mix in here but uh, we're gonna get a ratio right cup. Well, that's more trust. Got very yeah, good. you get a freaking funnel. Man, I've spent uh, two times the amount that what you paid for this, and almost three times the amount of what you paid for this. And I didn't get no damn funnel on my other stuff. <laughs> what else? What else we got here? Oh, yeah. Hey, open this first, bro. Before the body. Oh, cool. What is that? Like the front bumper. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to. We got to put the bumper on. Yeah, I see that. Cool, man. There's got another the bumper. Box, right? What else you got here? Looks like it comes with a sticker kit, a graphic kit, which I won't be doing to mine. But um, Nitro cousin Anthony will decide if he wants to use his sticker kit or not. Take it out. Take it out. <clears throat> what else you got? 
Yeah. Cool. What the hell? It comes with gaskets and shit. What are these for? But I think there's more. Yeah. This is not I, nope. I should have had an air what filter. What is this? Uh, yo, you got an upgrade to a better air filter. These are garbage, supposedly. All right? That's... Okay. Cool. It comes with... Um, um, it comes with air filter oil. It comes with shock oil. And diff oil. Obviously, we'll be running our own diff oil. Look, you got a, you got your first tool. And you got um, you got a spark plug wrench. You got a plastic hub wrench, which you should get metal anyway. You got a charger, which you'll be using your own charger. Oh, cool! They give you extra CV boots. Look at this, cool man, dude! You get extra pins. Are you missing them or? They give you extras, man. If they give you extras, that's very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> that's very, that's very cool. Let's 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 do a let's do a walk around with this thing. Let, let, let's take the body off. Let's let's get an inside look, uh, under the hood look with this. All right, I'm digging this these pins here. These um very cool. All right, the body seems very flexible. I definitely will be needing that because, let's see. The, uh, yeah, <clears throat> Sorry about the lighting. All right, we got ourselves a Baja platform here and this is the 5SC. All right, Amanda's having fun over there. <clears throat> wow, looks just like a freaking HBI. Uh, but, very nice. You got an air filter there. Supposedly that air filter can cause problems, all right? You can ruin your motor. This pipe looks nice. <clears throat> the pipe looks great, but it's a shitty pipe. It should be upgraded. Even Dan from Robin um, recommends that. But you know, you break in your motor, get comfortable with it. Bro, you, you haven't even drove a freaking RC yet. So just keep it the way it is for now. Learn how to drive it, control it. Yo, the shocks look nice, man. I feel okay. I feel pretty good. Shocks look really nice. All right, you can adjust them. You got like two springs. This has the upgraded nine millimeter dog bones. All right. Has a pretty good big motor, man. Very nice dog bones, very nice. Very nice dog bones. All right. And uh, we'll just have to see how well uh, she lasts. My cousin Anthony got some mud flaps going on. <clears throat> it pretty much might be got some nice tires. They feel pretty good. They feel pretty good. Get some nice rims, bead locks. Dude, it's <sighs> super nice. Sorry about the lighting. Super nice, bro. All right, you got some work to do. For me, I would start breaking in, whatever. I would get rid of that intake, do a new intake, put the the correct air filter in here so there's no... You want to take care of this motor. This motor, from what I've been hearing, um, works very well. Works very well. And um, on mine, I'm definitely doing a 990 car. But, you know, get comfortable with yours first. And have fun with it, man. A nice fuel tank. All right, man. Very cool. What else we got? <clears throat> anyway, super cool. Very nice of them, like I said before, to include extra CV boots. You get some extra C clips, hood pins. Um, it looks like you got some lock nuts as well. Very cool. Alright. You got some tools. Man, you got a... They include a bunch of stuff. Is, does this, did this come out of the kit? Yeah, what is that? I have no idea. You got to look at your... Uh, could be probably for the roll cage. Dude, I bet you it's for here. No? Maybe. Huh. Could be. Uh, find out. Could be for there. That was a while, I guess. And, um, oh, it could be for your bumper, brother. 
All right, comes with a nice, you know, the plastic seems pretty good, man. Very, not bad at all. We, we, we will see after I jump my, you know, when we start jumping it. I don't know about Anthony uh, jumping his, but I will be jumping mine. But uh, from what I hear, from what I was told, you got Roven and you have King Motors, okay? Y yes, you, some King Motors can give you uh, upgrades like, like aluminum parts here or there that may have like a, a special kit out with some upgrades or whatever. But just know this, the Rovens have the better quality plastic, okay? All right, so just know that. And then if you're a builder or a wrencher that's going to be improving your, your shit anyway, uh, you're better off with the better plastic, okay? If you're not a wrencher and you just don't want to deal with the upgrades, then you can always get a, a, a truck that's like a special edition that comes with a lot of extras already mounted for you. But I, I am no nowhere like that guy. I'm, I'm nothing like that guy. I have to do the work myself. <clears throat> And it's fun and I recommend it. Now, we will see. We'll see how good these servos are. You know, I'm going to be upgrading mine without a doubt. But um, we'll see. I'm going to be upgrading my steering. But uh, yeah, that's it. But uh, I'm glad how this is. Now, what I was telling Nitro Cousin Anthony a little while ago when my phone took a fart. Um, I told him not to pull the pull start. The reason why is... Wow, they give you a nice handle, man. Very nice handle, bro. Wow. Feels nice. This handle feels nice. Now, <clears throat> give you a little guard here. You should put outer wears here anyway, right? But uh, what happens is if you don't put outer wears here, dirt, grass, all that shit gets sucked into the motor. Now, now what I was telling Anthony before is not to touch the motor because this motor, every motor is dry. Okay, what, what I do is, I first thing I do is I pull the fucking spark plug out and I throw some drops of penetrating oil and some oil in there. All right, I, I wait a little while, I throw a heat gun to it so it, um, it gets saturated with some heat. So you, what you want, you want some penetrating oil to swell up your rings, the piston rings, you know, get it pre-looped. So when you do pull it, your piston, every time your piston goes up and down, it's scratching the cylinder, okay? So what we're trying to do is prevent hairline scratches, microscopic scratches to your cylinder, best as possible, especially in the beginning, guys. The beginning is the most important. The beginning is the most important. <clears throat> now, that's if you guys care about your shit, care about your motors. Now, heat cycling is very important during break-ins. Me, when I break in mine, I'm not gonna worry about all that because uh, I'm just gonna go all out. I have motors. Uh, mine, I have planned to do builds on it. I'm just gonna whatever. <clears throat> but my cousin Nitro Anthony, we're gonna break this in like if it's like if it's some $600 OBR motor or a $400 fucking motor or whatever. All right, even a a, a $1,400 motor like a like a scope out or something. Th we're gonna treat this 32 cc uh, knockoff of a Zenoa like if it's a. Uh, uh, like a work of art, okay? We're gonna do the best we can. We're gonna give it a chance We're gonna see how good this motor really is from what we've been hearing and seeing All right, on many people many of my subscribers uh, So from what I heard there's a total of 65 uh, uh, People of my subscribers went out and got Robins and King Motors. Okay, the majority were Robins 65 bro, and I'm proud to say that 65 newbies, all right? Not, 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 not all newbies, all right? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. More than half, more than half of them were experienced guys, okay? So the experienced guys <clears throat> that like to build and tinker with shit, there's not many of you guys left so This came from uh, my buddy Chris's job, all right? When I, when there was one day I was off from work and I took a drive out to uh, my buddy Chris's job and I picked up, uh, he works at a small engine shop. And um, I picked up the snow spill. I highly recommend these. These are the fuel tanks I, I like to use. All right, I, I always go like a, a quarter more. So instead of a gallon, I'll do a, a one gallon and a quarter. And uh, that's just to, so I can mix up the gallon, swish it around. All right? Every time I fill up, I pre-fill it, I always mix my shit around, okay? Um, you guys already seen some of that. 
Let's put this sucker up here. Okay. Pull it in right. <clears throat> Look at that. Nitro Cousin Anthony's first fifth scale gas RC. Okay. Super nice. <clears throat> Look at this. I'm gonna get some lighting too. Alright, now you gotta have to get a toolbox, brother. So you can put all your stuff, and your tools, and all that stuff. You can put the body back on. What I, what I like about the Baja platform is um, you can switch bodies around and you have a completely different co uh, car. You know, right now it's a short course um, stadium style truck. And then you can throw like some doom buggy body on here. You could do a. Uh, uh, some desert buggy type body on here. Throw some freaking mud, some uh, sand paddle tires on here. You have a, you'll have like one RC that does like the job of three cars, man. But um, that's pretty cool. But now, um, very cool. Well, there you go. Now this comes with a film. You pop this film off, and look at it. And it'll be much, you know, it'll be shiny or whatever. You have a little. See this? You gotta unpeel it. All right, and then you can put your stickers, you know. But before you dirty it, this stickers, you got stickers over there. Take a look at it, see how you like it. Um, when I do mine, it's just gonna be, um, I'm gonna do my own wrap kit on it that I got already. But, yeah, it's cool. We gotta pop some holes in here. <clears throat> All right. We got a body seems very flexible, hopefully. All right, yeah, we gotta do some holes in here. Got some air in here. You know, you should have plenty of air anyway. All right, man. Now we got some breaking in to do, bro. We got some engine break in here. You put your number plates here. It's gonna look good, eh? Nice and shiny. You gotta see what you do with the sticker kit afterwards. Short, sure, I'm gonna call it quits. This was Nitro Cousin Anthony's unboxing of his first fifth scale. Alright, now we got some work to do.